Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. It's September 7th. For, for Brazilians, today is the Independence Day in Brazil. So con congratulations. You guys know that I'm American, but I'm born in Brazil. So I'm American citizenship. My, my sons, they are American. They're born over here. But I'm Brazilian too. So that's a, a good day. It's a special day that you need to celebrate because today is an Independence Day in Brazil. So September 7, Wednesday, 7.53 a.m. Eastern Time. Guys, let's first of all review the spreadsheet. Why I told you guys that, you know, I, the market wrap is still in place. First of all, we have today a big order and the price to be exercised is 3,900 points. Okay. As soon you reach the region, we will see a meltdown. Like uh, uh, I may ask, ask, ask me if yesterday, Fabio, uh, 3890, could, could you hold? I said that no. Why I said no? It's not because the 10 points in spread, because this on Friday. Okay? We have big orders on Friday. As soon as somebody exercises this and we work for 10 points in spread, the $10 million order that expired on Friday, you'll be in the money that you exercise too. But this is big, it's really big, means that more than 20 points spread, you know? Usually it's more than 20 points spread. So we talk about 38.7, right? And soon this one be exercised, we have more 1.44 and $3.8 million premium also to be exercised at 38.68, both, both. And we talk about about five million dollars that also take more 10 or 20 points down because that I'm looking for you know 38 38 that's you know a support as well also I have had uh, place a graph and in, put like a, almost like an inflection point at 38 38 and this is this is this is my target since you know last week the market wrap that I, I wrote that I expect 5.41 percent but we drop a little bit less right and now I'm expecting between 1.5 and 2% drop this week. Now, why I'm looking for uh, a pullback in September 16? Because I'm starting to see big orders, a call orders, and make it totally sense. And let me get, let me get, uh, hold on, let me put the uh, Anjo Wales as well. Also in OPEX, you know, the, we have a lot of money to collect. And I have been explaining even to Claudio about the, the flux that the, uh, he, he read. I always say, this is happened on Friday, right? Or on Wednesday. Yeah, it was on Friday. Because usually on, 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 on the third week of the month, when, uh, when you see OPEX, we see, usually we see a reversal. Why? Because they have a lot of money. They collect the money and then come back to, to, the, to the trend, or uptrend or downtrend. You know, depending how market is, is running uh, right now. So nowadays it's, it's, it's bear market, so the trend is downtrend. So why is making sense, you know, to collect the money to see a pullback between September 16 and Monday 19? First of all, we don't have any, any structure between 20 and 21, and 20 and 21 is the fun, funk date. But in another hand, we have market, market maker uh, position in VIX, especially for 21. Okay? Now, let's go back for this order, OPEX 16. You know, the book starts to become bullish. You know, the big orders is now is, is calls and not puts. You have, of course, uh, how can I say? Bullish orders, but as I explain right now, you know about you know if 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 this one exercise, those ones supposed to be exercised, and look, you know what we have for for OPEC 16, 3,850, 3,842. Those are the big ones, so they supposed to be exercised as well. Consequently, those ones, if you not to be exercised, 3,850, 15, you know they they you have a lot of premium. You know, could you be only a trade? But, you know, all of um, the majority, the big orders, you'll be in the money, right? You'll be in the money. And remember the arbitrage. If they are selling cash, 
then you buy future and then bring future back. They they operate, you know, they spread and make a lot of money on what happened on, on, on Friday. But I expect a 4K because the book, you know, show me like 4K, 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 20, 4K, 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 
I will work with with stop and I will, I will trade with head. The best the best thing to do is I will should be a straddle. So we make money if the market go uh, up or down. You make money up you no know, in the two ways. So guys, I'm finished by here. Bitcoin. Let's go back to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is already you know uh, fighting for the support that I told you guys the uh, 18603. It's it's already holding here. That's not an important support because if you lose, you have a a a, a, a more important support than 17567. That was the last bottom. Okay, and losing 750 uh, 17,567. I'm seeing the demand only 13,863. So, here we could see a pullback up to 17 and then come back to, to, to go down, guys. My target is still the same. My target is, is to Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, back test the pivot that you know start that the, the uptrend, you know, uh, up to all time highs. So my tag is 3,661. If it doesn't go over there, I mean, look at a, a region nearby, 7,000, 9,000, but my tag is 3,691, okay? So guys, I'm finished by, oh, Fed funds. Let's review the Fed funds. The Fed funds keep it dropping. Now it's, pre, it's pricing 3.75. Not more 3.5%. 3.5%. And consequently make totally sense, right? Because the inflation is too high. You see the, the energy crisis in Europe. And now in California. And now in California, right? So they need they, they need to increase the rates. As I said, I don't know if the board will be in 2013. If you be, they you they you will start to accommodate the the uh, the, the monetary policy again, but that time is they you not printing print money, they you cut your rates, and then that's time that you will buy. I'm looking for the spreads, okay? As soon you know, I see a jump in the spreads and going so high, at least you know, uh, up, no, no, I don't want to put like, but you know, at least at least like nine percent or 120 percent, I will buy market, I will start to buy market because you see bottom. So you see bought, and then you start to buy risk assets, cryptocurrency, uh, and special commodities. And special commodities. Because as I said, as soon as they start to cut rates, commodities you spike. You know, and do you know what's gonna happen? We we went in a recession because they don't have more uh, tools to control the inflation. They need to bring these, you know, down. I mean, the rates going up. We still have Negative real hate. Remember that Trump had the opportunity, you know, to, to remove the negative rates, and they didn't. Now they are trying to do. Even if you go to 3.75, I don't think the real the real hates you be you became positive. It was a good shot, you know, posted by Flip. Right? I don't really know. But as soon as they cut the rates. You know, as soon as I see the spike in the yield spread, I will buy. And as soon as they cut the rates, the commodities you spike. And consequently, you know, cryptocurrency could, could you spike as well. I'm now looking more for Ethereum. I don't know why Ethereum is outperforming in, in, in Bitcoin. But you have a movement for a clean energy. So maybe, you know, all the governments, you try to criticize Bitcoin. And since the Ethereum is going to proof of stake, Instead of proof of work, using lack of energy, I will go to Ethereum and I guess Ethereum will outperform Bitcoin. I don't have bias in assets, guys. I just want I want money. I want to make dollars. Okay? See you guys soon.